Let's take a moment and go over the direct logic family of PLCs. It is a family. Multiple units make up the family, so to speak. And if you really want to know the history, it started out years ago in the 80s with a PLC called the 305. I don't have one up here for you, but that is part of the direct logic family. It's an older version. After the 305 came out, they brought out something called the 405, which is sitting right here. This is the second PLC that came out in the direct logic family. The third one to come out was the 205. This is a PLC rack based where I can change cards just like the 405. This is the third one to come out. The next one to come out was something called the 105. It was a brick. It has so many inputs and so many outputs on it, it's not even expandable. What you see is what you get. Later they brought out something called the 05. It was very similar to the 105, it was a brick, but I could actually pop this card off and stick an options card in here. So I could add one card to it. So I could expand it a little bit. But it did come with the I.O. built into it as a brick would do. After that came out, they brought out something called the 06. This has I.O. built into it down here and up here. And it's got four slots that I can expand on. So I can stick cards in here if I need to expand it. So it's a brick, but it's expandable. Now, this is the deal. The DirectLogic family uses a software package called DirectSoft. They have a new PLC that came out, it was called the Click. It uses its own software package. The Productivity 3000 PLC uses another software package. DirectSoft programs all of these. Now for all intents and purposes, these are very similar products. Very similar. For example, in this family here, they make multiple types of CPUs. I can take this CPU here, here's a central processing unit, I can pop it out. And I can stick a different CPU in here. And they start off with a 230, they go up to a 240, then a 250, then a 260. And as the number goes up, you get more features, more power, more horsepower, more features to do what you need to do. This guy, this 105, I can't change the CPU. This 06, I can't change the CPU. The 05, I can't change the CPU. So there's some differences, but when it comes to the command set, the instructions that are used. For example, they all use the same command called set. When you set something on, it stays on. They all use the same command called reset. When you reset it, it turns off. They use the same software, very, very similar addressing. There's some differences which I'll go over with you in separate videos, but when it comes to the command set, they're the same. They all have basically the same commands. Now I will tell you this much. If you buy a 260 processor, which is a newer version processor, and stick it in here, it's got some newer commands that maybe the 240 doesn't have. That's just the way it is. If they bring new CPUs out, you get more and more features. The old ones still exist, but you can get new ones with new features. So I want to take a moment and go over just an overview of the products. They are very similar when it comes to programming. They use the same software. They use pretty much the same commands. Addressing will be covered under a different video. And to be honest with you, the addressing is pretty similar from model to model. What really changes is the shape and the size somewhat and some of the features. But for, I like to tell people this in the training classes, 95% of it is pretty much the same, just different plastic cases and some little idiosyncrasies between the families that change from model to model, but very similar.